They call themselves partners in compassionate care, and they built a hospital in Africa. From there, they hope to help rebuild a war-torn country. Fox 17's Cassandra Arsenal traveled to South Sudan to see how people from West Michigan are making a big difference thousands of miles away. Christian Janice, Partners in Compassionate Care is not just building a hospital for the South Sudanese and saying good luck. What's different about this organization than some other Western organizations is that they have plans to help the community thrive off these developments and are committed to helping them see it through. This is the sound of hope and a healing touch. And this is what the future looks like. <laughs> because the hospital has become such a big part of South Sudan, with the only x-ray machine and ultrasound within miles, government officials want to make sure it's standing for years to come. About 7,000 patients were seen in that center with some surgical operation. That was amazing. It's something that we can we are grateful to you. Construction is always a concern and a learning process. Black cotton soil is the worst soil in the world to build on. And uh, so, yes, we have some cracking problems, and yes, they have to be fixed, and yes, it's going to cost money. Where's the money coming from? I don't know. There are more people in need of medical help than the hospital can handle. My hope is to, to expand. PCC, MCH, by expanding not to build more hospitals. That's not the thing I'm talking. Build small clinics in the rural areas. The hospital is a five mile walk. A sick person would never make it and the roads are barely passable. You can't even call it a road. It was just, you know what it's like. It's not a road. That makes it hard to respond to emergencies. We experienced it firsthand. If you look over here, we just got a flat tire, making it almost impossible for us to get back to the hospital. But an African immigrant now living in Salt Lake City is building new roads. Abraham is into the road building business. And so what the government has promised they would do for us since 2008, Abraham did in one weekend. So I'm thrilled. We've got a road now. They're also turning trash-filled abandoned buildings back into schools. I, I had talked to them about the vision for that school. And the reason why I'm passionate about that is because South Sudan will never develop if we don't, if the people aren't educated. Joseph Guy attended this school. He's saddened that it's been abandoned for over a year now. This uh, Memorial Christian Hospital. So you want a school here? Oh yeah, we need a school here. Roads, health care and education. Easy to come by in West Michigan, but a work in progress in one of the world's newest nations. So PCC is going to continue their work mm -hmm. in South Sudan for as far as they can see in the foreseeable future. And, you know, they have the roads finished. Now they're going to look to try to rebuild the school and, of course, start their clinics, their uh, medical clinics mm -hmm. throughout different parts so that more people can get medical care. Being a Christian relief agency, uh, are they worried about the political situation there and their safety? They are. You know, actually, it's yes and no. They're careful and they're cautious. But, um, you know, with their faith on their side and they work really well with the political leaders, they're very in touch with them. They're mm -hmm. trying to, you know, we were in touch with the Minister of Education, the, minis the medicine um, minister. So they're making these connections all the time. And while they need to be cautious, mm -hmm. they're constantly moving forward. Dedicated for sure. Well, you did a lot of these pieces, Cassie. Those can all be found on the website if yep. people want to catch up. Yeah, but anyone wants to find out more about PCC, you can go to fox17online.com and find out how. All right. Cassie, thanks.